Today on my lockdown walk, I've come to an underpass under the A38. But I'm not here to look at that graffiti, nor am I here to look at that river just there. I'm actually here to look at the mud. The mud just here is a sedimentary deposit formed by all the little bits of minerals and organic matter that the river was carrying being dropped, deposited, as the water left the banks last time it flooded. The mud just here is still wet. You can see if I step in it that I create a footprint. But the mud over here has had a chance to dry and it's dried rather spectacularly. This is one of the final stages in a process called desiccation, whereby this mud has been able to dry almost completely. Because it was deposited as a very moisture-rich sediment, it was affected quite adversely when the moisture evaporated as the mud began to dry. I was walking along the River Severn the other day and I came across these weird slits in the mud. Like someone had come along with a craft knife and made these little slices down into the clay. I made a post on my Nature and Meteorology blog where I posted some pictures of this and a little explanation. For I believe that that was the very start of the process that could eventually lead to what we're seeing under this bridge. So what has happened here? Well, as the mud starts to dry, it starts to contract. And that's because the water vapour that was once filling up the pores in the mud has evaporated. As the mud contracts even further, it breaks on these little stress fractures forming these slits. If the mud is allowed to dry even further than that, then these stress fractures will join together and form cracks, leaving just little chunks of mud. If these chunks are allowed to dry even further, they can pull away from the mud, or in this case concrete, beneath and form mud curls. Exactly what we are seeing here. In April 2020, we had a long dry period, which allowed lots of these little depressions in the land, which are currently filled with water, to dry up almost completely and leave lots of this very cracked mud. The only reason I can determine for why the mud here is really wet and the mud there is dried to a crisp is because that mud is exposed to the morning sun, whereas this mud is always in the shade. The three main components for efficient drying are hot, dry and windy. It's got the shelter of this bridge so it stays dry. It's got the wind blowing through. But this side has significantly more heat than the middle because this side gets the sun shining on it, as you can see here. And that's why this bit has been able to dry up like a crisp, and this bit has managed to stay nice and soft and wet. Who knew that a graffiti cloud underpass could yield so much physical geography? Another thing about mud is actually just all these little tracks. You can see under this bridge, under this underpass here, there's been a huge amount of animal life. Let me show you here. Look at these enormous bird prints. There's my hand next to it. Some kind of monster bird that's been down here. And something that's all over here I've spotted is these. I believe that those are deer tracks. It's actually been quite a large amount of deer, or one deer that kept running back and forth, I suppose it is possible. There, there is a human track. And obviously here is a dog. This pattern on the ceiling here, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous?